What's up? How are you guys this week? We are in the cursed warehouse as usual <laughs> over here at uh, Frankie's Free Range Meat. And uh, if you guys didn't get boned last week for Pride Month, then uh, this is going to be the last week we will have the 15% off moving sale. So if you place an order worth over $500, you get 15% off. We're just trying to kind of move out as much meat inventory as possible. So it's easier to take things over to our new place. And uh, if you guys really want to help us out, like out of the entirety of the several years that we've been doing Frankie series meat, if you could place an order this week, especially for eggs, uh, because you know, we're trying to make sure uh, we don't like disrupt the Amish farmer supply. We have the product coming in and we have a little bit of extra. So we're trying to completely clear out the refrigerator, clear out the freezer, get everything over to the new place. And then the week after have the new deliveries come in, have everything come in again and just keep things moving without any sort of interruption. Uh, but let's just take a look around. Uh, we probably have a, a few new things. I've just been uh, over it, you know, honestly, you know, like every day thinking about, you know, if it was four or five years ago and I knew what I was getting myself into, I could have just moved to some like, Southeast Asian country and married a princess, but what's the saying? Like you dig the hole too deep, you can't really get out. That's kind of where we're at now. It is Tuesday. We already sent most of our orders out yesterday, uh, but we still have a few more pallets today to do. Show you guys what's going on in the freezer first. Just restocked some eye round rows today. We're running low on all the glandulars like the adrenals, thyroid. Uh, we did a sale on those too, 25% off all glands. So if you guys want to get your hands on them, this might be the last week we have a lot of them. We restocked the wild boar bacon for you guys. Not too popular, but some of you guys are buying it compared to the regular beef bacon. We got some beef stew meat. This is $8 a package. Very, very affordable. 100% grass fed, fresh stew meat. Uh, not really gonna get it at that price anywhere else. I don't know if I showed you guys this last week. Maybe not, maybe we didn't have it, but I actually got some Iberico pork tenderloin and ground it up because I'm absolutely crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like almost $30 a pound, but it's like a really, really special product. And the only way we were going to have lean Iberico pork ground is if we uh, if we did it with the tenderloin. We also have some three pound packages here somewhere. Plenty of the collagen broth, collagen extract. We got a lot of Wagyu back in stock. Uh, these are the Wagyu Picanha, which are very affordable. I mean, honestly, guys, like $25 a pound for steaks that look like this. And the Picanha is tender and has the fat cap. Probably one of the best value things you're going to get online. Uh, we got some Wagyu ribeyes back in stock as well. These are a bit more expensive, around $50 each. Some of the regular ribeyes over there. Plenty of pork bacon in stock. Some beef shanks. Still have plenty of the marrow butter. Uh, plenty of chicken for you guys, corn and soy-free chicken all back in stock after the hiatus of several months of not having it. Yeah, I don't know where my guys put it, but we should also have the regular ground Iberico pork in three pound packages. So it's like over $40 a package, but they didn't have uh, smaller portions. But yeah, no, if you guys really want to help us out, buy some chicken, buy some eggs this week. I shouldn't have really taken the, the chicken from the Amish farmers, but um, on the foods, we got everything in stock. We got all the Biltong beef sticks and stuff back. We got the Flex Strauss on Frankie's Strange Foods. Steak seasoning, uh, the new salt is around here somewhere too. All the bars are in stock, I believe, besides the regular chocolate chip cookie bars. All the best bars, berry, chocolate. We got the orange and wildflower honey. Pemmican is in stock. This is the spice built on. Yeah, so with the exception of the water kefir and regular dark chocolate cookie bars, pretty much everything is available. So in the fridge, we did restock almost all of the cheeses. Uh, so we have everything. And the Amish cheese is coming this week if you guys want the A2A2 A2 stuff. This is the prime rib we did this week. We sliced it thicker. I still want them to slice it thicker than this, but I had this for lunch yesterday. It's really good. If you're used to having like uh, canned tuna or canned meats for lunch. This is like a really great substitute because it's cooked. It's uh, it's delicious, high quality grass fed. And of course we have the uh, regular roast beef as well. And I mean, I, I like the roast beef a lot, but there is a substantial like textural and flavoral difference between uh, the prime rib and the roast beef. If you guys want to try it out, honestly, we're probably gonna be sold out and we won't have it for a few more weeks. 
Same with the sheet milk. I'm honestly just gonna have to tell the farmer to, uh, we're not gonna do the sheet milk anymore because, I mean, it's only good for like a week and you guys aren't really buying it. But that's what happens, dude. I, I guess we can get into our weekly Amish rant. I guess the big issue with the dairy products is if they're not gonna sell them at basically the lowest price online and people just don't buy it for a week or two, you know, we need to be really, really, really competitive and just keep moving the product. Otherwise, it's just, it's just not sustainable because like last week I threw out $200 worth of sheet milk. If I'm gonna have to do it again this week, I'm just gonna say screw it. If you guys don't want dairy, we'll just, uh, we'll just sell meat because it's, it's not really worth it at this point until I get my own farm and can kind of control it and have a better margin. On the rest of the dairy, we have everything. We got the yogurt, we got the farm cheese, we got the A2A2 butter. All the dairy guys is straight from the farm if you catch my drift. Most of the rest of the milk is going out. We got some kefir down there. Butter looks good. Yeah, honestly, didn't have much to show you guys this week. I just really wanted to make a video to let you guys know that this is going to be the last week of the 15% off sale. And we, ha we have so many promotions. So, I mean, this is really the best time that we've had in regards to like overall value because we're doing that promotion. We have the 25% off the glandulars. We're giving the, the free marrow bones away with every single order, which is like $20, $25 value. So you're basically getting like 50 bucks free with every single order on top of us already having like the lowest and most affordable prices online for the beef. Yeah, so I'm hoping to get everything situated over the next few weeks. And then after we move, we can start doing uh, some of the new products again. But Frankie Strange Foods, I said a few times what we have. Organ supplements, maybe we'll do a new thing in another month or two. Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals, and uh, the other businesses and stuff. We, we should be getting some new stuff uh, before like the end of the year and some restocks in July. So that should be it. If you guys do want to see these businesses and support me, you can go to frank-stefano.com. Hey guys, this might be your last chance. I might say screw it and just go to Mexico next month. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but um, as always, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you could please drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon.